Hey, everybody, and welcome to The Daily Chase, the place where the news comes to die and you come to laugh at me or laugh with me, I guess, maybe just come to laugh. Anyways, regardless of why you're here, I'm glad that you are. So thanks for joining me and let's just jump right into it. Katy Perry made a splash on the red carpet the other day wearing a sheer dress that gave nothing to the imagination. She wore a tiny black thong underneath it and bared it all for pictures, proving once and for all that sex appeal doesn't matter when you're a really good singer. I've been doing community service lately, which is very re rewarding. I actually took part in a literacy event the other day for parents of deaf children that teaches the parents to read to their children in sign language, uh, which was fantastic. It was much more rewarding than the last event I went to where I was teaching blind kids how to find Waldo. A gold star dad was arrested at the Capitol the other day after heckling President Biden during his annual State of the Union address. Being heckled is actually a big change in direction for President Biden, who's more comfortable being the heckler as part of the Muppet trio Waldorf, Stotler, and Biden seen here. Rates of sexually transmitted diseases are rising globally. For example, the European CDC said that reports of gonorrhea have gone up 48% over last year. Similarly, women in New York are reporting more cases of syphilis and HPV, a disease that can cause genital warts and infertility in men. Now, I never really understood why people are so afraid of HPV, especially men, because if you get it, worst case scenario, you never have to use a condom again. And even better, if you get genital warts, it just means you're ribbed for her pleasure. So it seems like a win-win to me, but I guess I digress. The head of the European CDC says that these reports are likely, quote, just the tip of the iceberg because a lot of cases and infections go undiscovered and therefore unreported. Personally, I think saying, hey, it's just the tip is probably what's getting us into this in the first place. In global news, the African country of Ghana has agreed to join forces with the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea to form a new country. This new country will be the world's largest exporter of nuclear weapons, gold, and cocoa beans. The name of this new country will be gonorrhea, which I think is pretty catchy. My only concern is that gonorrhea may spread into places like Vietnam and Laos. A report by New Homes Mate is showing that Americans are facing increasing utility bills, which has some Americans turning to sex instead of turning up the thermostat. My only question is, how does me laying there while she does all of the work keep me warm? Some Cubs tickets for home games at Wrigley Field are being sold for considerably less than the price of a beer, with some going for as little as $5. What isn't clear is whether or not this is because beer is so expensive or if the Cubs just really suck that much. Criminal justice activist Sheldon Johnson, seen here shaking hands with New York's DA Alvin Bragg, has been arrested after the severed head of one of his rivals was found in the freezer of an apartment. What makes this arrest so spectacular is that the NYPD was able to identify Johnson even after he changed into various costumes including this very convincing blonde wig, before and after he entered the apartment building. What's not clear is whether or not Johnson will seek to be tried as a man or a woman. John Kerry's under fire again, this time for saying maybe if Russia made more of an attempt to reduce their emissions, it may open the door to people feeling more okay with what they're doing. Yeah, because that's why everybody's upset with Russia, their failure to reduce emissions. The city of Marietta, Georgia, held a document shredding event the other day, asking residents whether they wanted or needed to have any documents, outdated records, or other paperwork destroyed. Interestingly, the first person to show up, pictured here, refused to give his name or disclose just exactly what he was shredding. The passengers of Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 are suing both the airline and Boeing after a terrifying January flight 
in which the door to the fuselage blew off mid-flight, actually sucking the shirt off of a young boy. The suit alleges that both the airline and Boeing are negligent and is seeking damages in the amount of $1 billion, as well as one new pair of pants for everybody on board. The daughter of the famous U.S. Rabbi Shmuley is opening up a sex shop in Israel. Her stated goal is to spread the light of Judaism without shame and says that the sex shop will sell everything from clothing to perfume, oils to nipple tassels. It will, of course, also have a wide variety of kosher sex toys, so it will be pretty much like any other sex shop you can find anywhere else in the world. My only question is, what happens when you go to check out and they ask you to leave a tip. Mitch McConnell, pictured here haunting the dreams of small children, has announced that he will be stepping down as leader of the GOP in the Senate. Mr. McConnell, a fixture in the Senate since his early days, first gained notoriety when he helped President Lincoln accumulate enough votes to pass the 14th Amendment. And finally, Senator Katie Britt of Alabama delivered the GOP's response to President Biden's State of the Union address, expressing concern for a variety of stances President Biden has taken on issues ranging from immigration to foreign policy, crime to the economy. Critics were quick to point out that Senator Britt delivered her response from the kitchen of her Alabama home, stating, quote, that's exactly where the GOP wants women, in the kitchen, preferably with a child on their hip and their hands of making sandwiches. However, I don't think that's very fair because Senator Britt neither had a child on her hip nor was making sandwiches. And in fact, I think that Senator Britt delivering this goes to show you that women are capable of a great many things outside of making sandwiches and delivering children. They just can't be too far from the kitchen when they do it. All right, well, that's about all I know. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And if you see my parents or talk to them, please tell them to watch this. I could use their support. Thanks, everybody, and I'll talk to you next time.